Hello everyone, this is Pragya Pandey from Rao's Academy for Competitive Exams Bhopal and this is our special series on daily news review. In our previous video, I asked few questions, so let's see their solution first. And the first question was, which leader established Eastern Economic Forum? And the correct answer for this question is Vladimir Putin. We should remember that this platform serves for the discussion of key issues in the world economy, regional integration and the development of new industrial and technological sector as well as of the global challenges facing by Russia and other nations. Over the past year, this platform has emerged as an international platform for discussing the strategies for developing political, economic, and cultural ties between Russia and Asia Pacific. The next question was, Setu initiative was launched in which city? And the correct answer for this question is San Francisco. So let's see what is in the news. In September, that is observed as the World Suicide Prevention Day since 2003. It is an awareness providing worldwide action and commitment for the prevention of suicide. Rajasthan government launched 100 days urban employment guarantee scheme. Pradhan Mantri Sri Narendra Modi inaugurated Kartavya Path that symbolize a shift from erstwhile Rajpath being an icon of power to Kartavya Path being an example of public ownership and empowerment. The Pradhan Mantri also unveiled the statue of Netaji Shobhash Chandra Bose at India Gate on this occasion. Addressing the nation, Pradhan Mantri ji also said that India continuously changed. Ho hai. British Iraqi Jobi symbols hai, aaj hum unko change kar diya hai. Agar hum Indian budget ki baat kare, Indian bureaucracy system ki baat kare, Indian government ne lag bhag sao se bhi zada kuch amendments leke a chuke hai. So India is changing continuously. So during his speech, he also said that along with the social and digital infrastructure, India is also working on cultural infrastructure. He also said that in the form of Kartavipat, the country is getting one more excellent example of cultural infrastructure. So let's understand something about the Subhash Chandra Bose ji here. He was born on 23rd January 1897 in Katak to the Parvati Dutt Bose and Janki Nath Bose. Government of India has decided to celebrate his Jayanti as a Parakram Divas every year on 23rd January. In 1919, he had cleared ICS services, but his patriotism led him to resign the services and he joined the Indian freedom struggle. He was highly influenced by the Vivekananda's teaching, but in only apna jo political guru hai, wo Desh Bandhu Chitranjan Das ki ko mana. He was also an editor of Das newspaper forward, but later on he started his own newspaper, namely Swaraj. In 1923, he became the president of All India Youth Congress and he also opposed the idea of Motilal Nehru, that is, the dominion status for India and advocated the Poon Swaraj, that is complete independence. He actively participated in the Sol Satyagraha during 1930s and vehemently opposed the suspension of civil disobedience movement and signing of the Gandhi Irwin Pact in 1931. In 1930s, he was closely associated with the left politics and Congress along with Jawaharlal Nehru and Amman Roy. In later half of 1930s, he wrote a book named The Indian Struggle. In 1938, Bose was elected as president of Indian National Congress in Haripur session. But during 1939, he defeated Gandhiji's favorite candidate, Pattabhi Sita Ramaya, at Tripuri session. But due to some ideological differences with Gandhiji, Bose resigned and left Congress. Later on, Rajendra Prasad was appointed in his place. He founded a new party, the Forward Bloc. The purpose was to consolidate the political left and major support based in his home state, Bengal. In 1940, he conveyed a conference at Pramgarh with joint effort of Kisan Mahasabha and Forward Block. In 1942, he started Azad Hind Radio at Berlin. With the help of Hitler, Bose formed an army of Indian soldiers who were under captivity of German. Those soldiers gave him title of Netaji. There he gave the famous slogan, Jai Hind. The INA was formed by Captain Mohan Singh and Japanese Major Iwachi Fujiwara and that comprises Indian prisoners of war of the British Indian Army captured by Japan in the present-day Malaysia campaign at Singapore. Bose reached Japanese-controlled Singapore from Germany in July 1943 and issued from there his famous call, Dilli Chalo, and announces the formation of Azad Hind government and the Indian National Army on 21st October 1943. He took over the command of INA from Ras Bihari Bose. 
the ina includes both the indian prisoners of war from singapore and indian civilians in southeast asia that strength grew to 50000 Diana fought allied forces in 1944 those allied forces are USA UK and USSR inside the border of India in Imphal and in Burma Japanese government gave Andaman and Nicobar island to INA both was the first to address Gandhi ji as father of nation but aage badhne ke pehle there is a fact that you all should know To honor Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in 2018 and 19 Indian government changed three Andaman islands name those are the havelock island that is known as swaraj deep ross island that is now known as netaji subhash chandra bose island and neel island that is now known as shahid deep aapko ye jankar bhi aashcharya hoga that andaman islands were the first indian territory to be freed from british rule after japanese defeated british during world war 2 at the time bose had named andaman island as shahid and nicobar island as swaraj He also formed four brigades, namely Mahatma Gandhi Brigade, Jawaharlal Brigade, Rani Lakshmi Bai Brigade, that is Women Brigade led by Captain Lakshmi Sehgal, and gave his famous slogan, "Tum mujhe khun do, main tumhe azadi dunga." That is, "Give me blood, and I will give you freedom." We should also remember that the annual Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabhanan Puraskar has been instituted to recognize and honor the invaluable contribution and selfless services rendered by individual and organization in India in the field of disaster management. This award every year on 23 January is given out, and the cash prize for this award is 51 lakh and a certificate in case of an institution and rupees 5 lakh and certificate in case of an individual scientists discovered two super earth orbiting same star just 100 light years away one may be suitable for life the planet identified as lp 890-9b is about 30% larger than earth and completes an orbit around its star in 2.7 days However when observing LP 890-9b scientists happened to find another planet orbiting around the same star the planet LP 890-9c later named as Speculoos 2c by University of Leek scientists is 40% larger than earth with a much more longer orbit around this star that is about 8.5 days there is an article in the hindu newspaper that talks about should the mother tongue or english be the medium of instruction according to the survey carried out by the ministry of education and ncert basic skills poor in hindi but poorer in regional languages so this particular segment is very important for your gs paper too and i would like ki aapke jo opinion hai regarding the new education policy that talks about three languages aap kya sochte hain should the mother tongue or english be the medium of instruction aap hame comment section mein apna answer likh ke bata sakte hain you can also take the screenshot of these particular slides jo aapke answer writing ko kafi enhance karti hai so let's move further next news that talks about the rules relates to encourage ias ips officer to serve in jammu and kashmir the ut has a shortage of officers since 2019 after it was split into two the requirements such as schooling of period and the stringent norms for inter cadre deputation have been waived off inter cadre deputation is only given under compelling circumstances one being marriage now the norms have been liberalized recently a senior ias officer of the best bengal cadre who did not wish to go back to his cadre was sent to jammu and kashmir on deputation in 2020 the dopt wrote to all the state that the state cadre were requested to send the name of deputation to jammu and kashmir and ladakh directly to the ministry of home affairs The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh recently met his Japanese counterpart Yasukazu Hamada. They both expressed their commitment in continuing bilateral and multilateral exercises including Dharma Gadhyan, Jimex and Malabar. They welcomed the op- operationalization of the reciprocal provision of supply and services agreement during exercise Milan in March this year. So it's a quiz time and the first question is Who was the first person to address Gandhi ji as father of nation and your options are Rabindranath Tagore Subhash Chandra Bose Jawaharlal Nehru or Vallabhbhai Patel 
The next question is, which award is given to recognize and honor the invaluable contribution and selfless services rendered by individual and organization in India in the field of disaster management? Your options are Mahatma Gandhi Aapta Prabandhan Puruskar, Subhash Chandra Bose Aapta Prabandhan Puruskar, Dr. Sarvapalli Aapta Prabandhan Puruskar, and PM Aapta Prabandhan Puruskar. So you all know the drill. Sahi answers up to the comment box mein batana hai and stay tuned with us to know the correct answers. So this is it for today. Join our badges for UPSC, MPPSC, Civil Services Examination. Seats are very limited. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to hit like button, comment your valuable feedback and also press the subscribe button to never miss any updates. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are given below in the description box. Thank you and see you tomorrow.